Good evening and a warm welcome to the fourth day of our prayer meetings. Uh, 21 days of fasting and prayer. And thank you for joining us for this fast. We are trusting God that this month is a first fruit month and that our fasting and our prayer is setting us up that this whole year will be a lump that is raised and this whole year we will have fruit and, and new anointings and we trust in God for divine protection and blessing on our lives. Well, tonight I want to read a scripture in Luke 19 and verse 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. So the will of God is found in the first two chapters of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 2 before the fall of man. Jesus Christ came to restore, to seek and save everything that man had lost. And so God's original mandate, mission and commission he gave to man is found in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to verse 28. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them and said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Praise God for his word. Jesus Christ came to seek and save and restore to man that which man had lost. He not only came to seek and save man who was lost, but he came to seek and to save that which man had lost. And so God's will is still for you and I to be the image of God. Because God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. So God has created us to reflect God into the earth because we are the image of God. Jesus Christ <coughs> is the express image of his person. And so we are ambassadors for Christ. We represent Christ in the earth. And then number three, God said, and God blessed them. So being blessed of God is the will of God for your life. We are teaching you the will of God because the first day we shared with you from 1 John 5, 14 that the will of God gives you confidence and it's important to have confidence when you pray and the word confidence also means faith. So you cannot receive if you don't know the will of God. When you know God's will, it means God is willing to use his resources and his power to meet your need. So that's where our confidence comes from. So you are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So when you pray or when you continue your life, you need to flow from a position that you are the blessed of the Lord. So God said, and he blessed them. And in that blessing is fruitfulness. And God says, be fruitful. There's an anointing on each one of us to be fruitful. God didn't say, 
be seedful, he said be fruitful, because he's promised to give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. And so no one is entitled to be without seed in the kingdom of God, because all our seed comes from God. Now you only get fruit if you sow your seed and you don't eat your seed. So you must know what is your bread and what is your seed. And so be fruitful is God's blessing upon you. And then he says, multiply. So once you are fruitful, then you must multiply your fruitfulness. And so we taught some time ago that the fruitful field becomes a forest. And so you must multiply your fruitfulness. Not enough just to begin being fruitful. You must multiply that and have dense prosperity. And then God says, replenish the earth. Fill it up. You fill up whatever you use. The kingdom of God is not an, a decreasing kingdom. It's a forever increasing kingdom. And that's what we need to be praying from that position that we are replenishing everything that we have used up. And then we subdue the earth. Subdue the earth. That means you bring the earth's resources under your control. And you serve God with your wealth. You serve the needs of humanity with the wealth that's in the earth. That is what it means to subdue the earth. And then you have dominion. Now, friends, that's what makes up dominion. I want to go over them and then pray for you, and then you can pray. First of all, to have dominion, number one, you must Understand that you are the image of God. You are the image of God. You are born again and your spirit is just like Jesus. Number two, you are the likeness of God. Means you're an ambassador for Christ. Number three is that you are blessed of the Lord. God has blessed you. N number four is God says, be fruitful. And so you must sow your seed and you believe God for a hundredfold harvest. That's what it means to be fruitful. And then you keep on sowing. You live a life of sowing and reaping. You're a bona fide sower. And you multiply your fruitfulness. And then number six is you replenish the earth. You're always looking for a need and you're filling it. And you're looking for a hurt and you're healing it. You have the nature of God that is to replenish. The kingdom of God is a forever increasing kingdom. So you're always replenishing. And then number seven, all that makes up you having dominion in the earth. And you do that. All this is done by faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. You are called by God to rule the world, the flesh, and the devil. You are a ruler. You are a king and a priest. A king rules and a priest offers sacrifices unto God. So when you continue to pray, after I've prayed, then pray from this position. Pray these truths as part of your prayer and thank God for the victory. God richly, richly uh, bless you. Can I pray for you now? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are so grateful that Jesus Christ has come to seek and to save that which was lost. We thank God that he found us who were lost, but he also has restored to us, each one of us, everything that Adam lost in his fall. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that you've given us authority and power and dominion over COVID-19. 
in the name of Jesus, I circle a bloodline, the speaking sprinkled blood of Jesus Christ in heaven. I circle it around each of your people, Lord. I circle the blood of Jesus around the family of God. And I, I write over their lives with the words of my mouth, Lord. My tongue is as a pen of a skillful writer. Jesus Christ is Lord. I decree and declare that COVID-19 is under our feet. I decree and declare that Satan is under our feet. I decree and declare that sickness and disease is under our feet. Poverty is under our feet. And the curses are under our feet. And you said we will walk on serpents and scorpions. And nothing by any means shall harm us. Because you've given us power over all the power of the devil. And so I thank you today, Lord, for the anointing and the authority of God upon each of your people that they are being equipped to rule the world in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. I bless them today with a new anointing for a new year, doing great new exploits for the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Well, you continue pray, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow on the fifth day of our prayer meetings. God bless you.